Mike, when, uh, the number of coaches you've had, and you've had great coaches, and, and, I, and I know it's kind of difficult to single out a particular one coach. Is there one coach that comes to mind, a story about him? Well, you know, my, my high school coach was very important to me, and of course, Hallis. I mean, there's no question about that, but the guy was Coach Landry. Uh, you know, after I, I spent six years in Chicago, I went to Philadelphia for two years, and Paul, a lot of people didn't know that, but don't feel bad because the people in Philadelphia didn't know I was there for two years either. <laughs> so I was like El Stinko. <laughs> and so I decided to retire from football, and I go back to Chicago, spend Christmas with the kids and the family, and get a phone call on December 28th and answer the phone. And Mike, this is Tom Landry with the Dallas Cowboys. Coach, how are you? And uh, I said, fine. And, and he said this. Before I could say, he said, I, I don't know if you can play football anymore or not. He said, but I just traded for you. Well, that wasn't very inspirational. And I was a smart ass. <laughs> I probably would have said something. But he said, but I'm willing to take a chance on you if you take a chance on yourself. Well, I made a long story. I went down and got in the best shape of my life. Tom Landry is the reason I'm sitting in front of you today is because of Tom Landry. When I met him in my life, he changed the way I thought about a lot of things, football and other things. Because when I went down there, I realized football was no longer an individual game. It was a team sport. I became a great team player. I didn't care about my own success. It didn't bother me one bit if I caught one pass or ten passes. As long as we won the football game or as long as I could help the team win. And that's the way he, he made me understand that. And he made me understand other things about life, too. So if he wouldn't have came into my life when he did, I'd probably be tending bar somewhere in Pittsburgh. 